Hey guys, it's Mira Ray, and welcome back to another Create a Sim makeover video for the royal wedding of Brindleton Bay. So if you guys have seen my royal family series, you know that our bride is Lady Sadira and our groom is Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay. So I mostly focus on Lady Sadira in this video. I think I spend like only a minute or maybe less on Prince Johan. There's just so many less outfits to choose from from him so, or for guys in general so it was kind of hard also with Johan since I had him still wearing all black for a while because he was in love with Princess May and then Princess May died so he was wearing all black and so was Princess Amira which is May's sister and I was kind of thinking that maybe for the wedding he would stop wearing black just because it's kind of showing that he has moved on. Like, obviously he's still upset about May and he like respects her and her family by like wearing black. But I feel like this is his way of showing like I'm all in with Sadira. So we'll get to him a little bit later, but with Sadira. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about the custom content items that I have. So you can find all of my custom content on my Pinterest board, which is in the video description below. You can also find some on my Tumblr. I think mostly my Pinterest though is where I post things. And then you can also find, I have a best custom content for Royals video. So I will link that right here and I will also put that in the description below. So you can check that out. There is a lot of dresses on there that have a swatch for white. So they work really well for wedding dresses. Some of these wedding dresses I didn't put on there because they were only, like they only come in white so I didn't want to add them to my royal custom kind of video because they just all look like wedding dresses but maybe I will do a wedding dress custom content video but I don't know because I feel like a lot of people do those but I just have so many ball gowns but then again a lot of the ball gowns are also in the royal custom content video so I'm not sure yet but we'll see so I actually ended up going with two different outfits for Lady Sadira I was thinking one for the ceremony and then one for the reception. I've never done that for a royal wedding before, but I decided to do with her because I couldn't pick between the two outfits. So I ended up going with two. So like the more ball gown one is for the ceremony. I don't think at this point I had realized that I was picking two, but the more, the bigger dress, the bigger skirt is for the ceremony. And then the one that doesn't have as big of a skirt is for the reception. So I thought it was just really cute and it was so hard to decide, but I really loved her hair for this too. I was trying to find something that still like had her waves and it was kind of hard. I figured she might straighten her hair anyway, but this hairstyle is just so beautiful and I love that it has like the pearls like the headdress sort of thing in her hair and then that jewelry too is from so I get my crowns and mostly crowns I get them from bats from Westeros which I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with if not you can also find most of his stuff on my custom or on my Pinterest board under tiaras and crowns and then the other ones I get from I believe their name is MS Sims and I'm actually a patron on their Patreon because that way I don't have to deal with like the download sites like Adfly and all of that that give you trouble when you try to download things from there. So I am a patron so I can just like download things and I also get early access to things which is really nice. And they made this like this jewelry too. And then that's from Westeros also has really nice jewelry. So it's just so cool. And MS Sims, they have so many crowns and I'm pretty sure they're based off of pageant crowns. So there's so many different styles, but I like to use them for like royal crowns for like the queens especially because a lot of them are just so big. I don't know if I ended up going with a crown for Lady Sadira. I guess we'll find out. I think I just liked the accessories in her hair already, but that choker necklace is so pretty and it comes with a red stone in the middle that matches your earrings because the royal colors of Brindleton Bay are is red. So for the most part, the royal family wears red and there's just like so many red options for clothing. So it's really nice. But I also got that little, I guess, I don't know what 
what it's called, but like the lace shawl jacket thing that she's wearing, that's actually an accessory, which I really love. And I'm pretty sure I also put that on my Pinterest board. So you guys can find it under accessories on that board as well. And then this dress is what I went with for her for the reception dress. It was just, it's so pretty guys. It looks amazing. I know it was probably a little bit revealing for a royal sim that probably wouldn't fly in the real world, but it looked amazing on her. I love it so much. So I just thought that I had to go with it no matter what. And you know what? It's a sim series, it's a game. So it's not like I have to follow super strict protocols, but for the most part, I try to stay pretty conservative for the Royals. And Lady Sadira, I love her so much. She's a super outdoor person. I think she has like the child, like child of the island trait. And then she has the romantic trait and she's also outgoing and she's just, Really, really awesome. I've loved her since she was a toddler. She is Princess Anna's daughter and Princess Anna is King Henry the fourth sister of Windenburg. So she's the princess of Windenburg and her daughter looks so much like her. Like Sadira looks so much like her, but she's still a mix between her father and Princess Anna. So, oh gosh, I love her so, so much. And I think her and Johan are such a good fit. They're so cute together. And then, so I ended up trying to figure out stuff for Johan. That red outfit you just saw was his previous formal outfit that he was wearing a lot before Princess May passed away. So I was trying to find something that was all black that he could wear. And then I realized he would wear some, I think I still ended up going with something pretty dark for him though. I actually forgot what I chose, but I was trying to find something Thing that would be good for a wedding that was a little bit fancier. Oh, I think I went with like one of these. Yes, I did. I did. So it's okay. So it's just really dark blue, <laughs> but it's not black, but it's much less black than all the other clothes and all the other outfits he has been wearing since she passed away. So I thought it was fine. And I think from now on, he will start wearing less black. I did not pick a reception and ceremony outfit for him, although I probably should have done that. I might do that before I film the next episode of the Royal Family with the Royal Wedding. Yeah, cause I feel like if Sadira has two outfits, then Johan should also have two outfits, but I'm just so excited for their wedding. They are actually going to be having it at the Palace of Brindleton Bay. I was debating for a while finding a whole nother venue for them or or just kind of redoing the lighthouse in Brindleton Bay that his father and mother eloped at, but it was so hard because it was so small. And I just, I don't know, I couldn't find a good wedding venue that I love. Someone left me a in the comments for one of my videos, a link to a video of a wedding venue and I couldn't find it after like when I was searching for venues. So if that was you, and I, I I know I replied back to them, if that was you, please comment it again so I can use it for a future wedding because I really, really want to. But it was just, it looked so pretty and I really wanted it for this, but there's only so many spaces available, but I just decided to do it at the palace. It's a beautiful palace and I could like clear out some space. I'm gonna have to do some serious remodeling though, because there's only like three bedrooms in the Brindleton Bay Palace and it's really hard to make it like expand it and make it bigger. I could probably add a basement. It's just so small because there's like different towers and I didn't want to mess anything up, but I love the outside of it so much. So I don't want to do anything to it. I was considering getting a new one, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, so that is their wedding outfits and you guys will get to see them in the next episode of The Royal Family. We will be having the royal wedding. So if you enjoyed this Create a Makeover video, give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.